Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all well. Um, I had to change settings again because of the cat situation. It's too much to get into right now, but I think this will work just fine. Um, just a quick announcement also before we get into the reading. I think I'm going to start changing the day that I'm posting these readings. So rather than posting on Sundays, I'm either going to be posting on Mondays or Tuesdays. Okay, it's so starting as of next week, I won't be posting a video on Sunday. It will most likely be on Tuesday. All right, so do keep that in mind. So today's reading is going to be for divine soulmates, twin soul connections, divine masculine, divine feminine energies, where there is also a karmic element. It's most likely going to be that the masculine is involved in a third party situation, in a karmic situation with a partner. It doesn't have to be, okay? It can be the other way around or it can just be a situation rather than a partner. So just take the messages as they make sense for you. And as always, do keep in mind that this is general, okay? So it's not going to be everybody's situation. Every reading is different and each reading can tap into a different group within the collective. So with all of that said, let's begin. We're going to take a look at the masculine's energy first. I'm going to get a few oracle cards and we're going to take a look at their energy towards their karmic partner or situation and then their energy towards their Divine Feminine. All right. So let's see. What is going on with the Masculines? Okay, so we have Rest and Rejuvenate. This is kind of like the Four of Swords. So there's a, um, to me this comes along with a lot of thinking. It's also healing. And it, it feels like they're taking a break. Um, I mostly feel like this has to do with the um, with the karmic situation, but I, it can also be towards their divine feminine. Let me just get a few more. Some of them might even be planning a trip just to kind of get away, just to be alone, to think things through, to just sit with themselves, sit with their minds, sit with their hearts. But it feels like there's a lot of pulling back to just go within and really try to process this situation. Let's see what else. All right, so we have return, victim, and we have pause. All right, okay, so this masculine that we're tapping into, they feel like they have returned to a situation. I feel like this particular group of masculines were in the process of leaving the karmic situation behind, moving forward, and right now they're feeling like they find themselves being in the victim mode again, kind of feeling like their hands are tied. And this is why we also have pause, right? Which is um, similar to this rest and rejuvenation. So because they feel like they're back into a trapped situation where they feel like they're a victim of their own selves and of their own situation, of their own actions, they're taking a step back. So I feel like for a lot of them, as I said, they're, they might be taking a trip. They might just be um, maybe even just taking, you know, a day to just get away um, from their environment, from their surroundings, really just taking a pause um, from the connection because they feel like the way it's coming in, it's like they don't even realize how it happened. Like just when they thought they were moving forward and they were about to make a move or maybe they were already making a move, it's like, how did I get back into this like how did I settle back into the daily routine of living this again and I, I find myself being trapped again it it like happened out of the blue so they're taking time to reflect on this and to why that happened all right so let's get more specific let's get into the tarot so let's see their general energy towards towards the karmic partner
All right, we have the Tower in Reverse, the Page of Cups, and Temperance. All right. So this is what they're generally realizing, the fact that they avoided the Tower. I feel like they, they came so close to destroying that connection. And when I say destroying, I mean, you know, just tearing it down and, and putting an end to it giving it just the big final ending. But there was a lot of fear. There was a lot of fear. There was some guilt. Possibly also feeling sorry for other people involved. But this is something that now, because of this pause, all right, because they are reflecting on it, This is helping them to find some kind of balance, all right? Temperance is also all about healing and finding a balance, a sense of balance within. So what's happening here is them really realizing the fact that once again, because for a lot of them, this isn't the first time that this has happened, that once again, they avoided that tower. They came close only to take a step back, only to find themselves being in this victim position again. So when I say victim, obviously, they're not really victims, right? They're just victims of their own doing. No one is forcing them um, to do anything. So this is their, um, their purpose here. This is their intention to really find that balance within themselves, to understand why is it that I am back in this position again? What is this fear? So the masculine right now is really getting in touch with their feelings about this, all right, with that page of cups. All right, let's see. Let's see more specifically. What is going on in their head space as well as their emotional space? All right, we have the three of wands the Empress in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Again, with this Three of Wands, there's a lot of contemplation. There's a lot of thinking about the fact that this person that they are with or this situation that they're with, right? Take this as it resonates, <clears throat> is the Empress in reverse. This is not the person that fulfills them. This is not a person that they look up to. This is not a person that they feel this... Um, high level of respect for in the way that they would want to as a partner or as a, a, a situation all right this is something that does not fulfill them and i feel like on some level they also feel like <clears throat> for some of them at least they feel like they have been selfish because one of the reasons that they have stayed in this situation one of the reasons why they also went back to the situation is because of their own fear how fair is that to the other person if, if this is a partner? So this is a realization and contemplating on the fact of them being selfish by staying in a situation where there is no love, where there is no... I, I feel like it just keeps coming through that there's no respect. It's not something that is fulfilling. This is not the person that they feel that they belong with or that should have such a hold over them. So let me actually, I actually feel like clarifying just a couple of these. Let's clarify that top row with the tower. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Cups showing up again, this time in reverse. Okay, so there's this... There's this strong fear of never... Of never making a decision. Of not being able to manage going after what it is that's in their hearts. So the masculine right now, this particular masculine has a fear that they might never leave the situation, that they're just going to keep going back. But that's actually a positive because the fact that they are aware of this fear 
that in and of itself is, <laughs> is um, scaring them to the point where they, it's making them not want to hold on to that fear. It, because once we realize our fears, that's when they become easier to let go. So there's this fear of, oh my God, you know, what if I'm, what if I stay in this forever? What if I never do anything about it? Because I always end up back here. So what if this never stops? That realization is what is going to push for change. That realization is helping them to find that balance within and to actually heal that fear. It's like noticing or becoming aware of the consequences of doing the same thing over and over again. Let me clarify this bottom row with the three of wands. Yeah, the eight of swords in reverse and the king of cups in reverse. Again, a fear of always being trapped. This is what they're thinking, right? And it's like, looking into the future here with this three of wands, right? And thinking about what the consequences are going to be if they stay in this situation. The consequences of staying in this situation, looking out into the future, is the Empress in reverse, as well as the Nine of Cups in reverse. No love, not being with the person that they feel they are meant to be with. And also not being fulfilled, not having their wishes become a reality. And it is this, this thought, this looking into the future of what their future will be like if they keep going back to this, that is making them want to untrap themselves. Because there's a fear of not having love in their future. And it's like that thought is unbearable. They cannot bear the thought of being in this situation forever. They cannot bear the thought of these consequences of staying here so this is this is actually a major i feel major realization with this going back finding themselves in the victim mode again is scaring them to the point of you know i need to stop doing this over and over again all right let's move on to their energy towards their divine feminine All right, we have the Empress, <clears throat> the Ace of Cups, and the world in reverse. Okay, the Empress was sideways. But this is how I am seeing her, all right? Which is actually the contrast here, right? For the um, karmic partner showing up as the Empress in reverse, and then for the Divine Feminine showing up as the Empress upright. The Ace of Cups, there's a lot of love here. This is the person that they feel they want to be with. And as I've been saying in the... Um, past couple of readings, <clears throat> the masculine's emotions for their divine feminine as a collective, just in general, I feel like this is true for, for the majority of the collective. These emotions for their divine feminine have been amplified. They have been intensified, okay? And it's being reinforced here. They feel like, you know, this is not done. The world in reverse, they do not want it to be done. They know it's not done. They have tried in the past to forget about the feminine but now they know that that's not possible like they, there's no point in even trying anymore it's a cycle that is just never going to really close out and i'm talking about the big cycle right the biggest one with their divine feminine of course we go through mini cycles within the big cycle that need to close out in order to move to the next one right little chapters are closed out in order to move on to the next chapter but the general chapter of, or should I just say book, right, rather than chapter, that would be a better analogy, the book of the Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine, is never-ending. So this is something that they are realizing, that this love, the unconditional love, the purity of this love, 
is never going to end. That's never going to close out. That will always be there. Let's see what else. Judgment in reverse, the Eight of Cups, and the Chariot. So this is a realization here. Um, this is what's going on in their in their headspace. That they have made the wrong decisions. They made a discernment that they feel was not the right one. They feel like their judgment in the past of this connection was off. The judgment of trying to move away, trying to emotionally detach. I feel like this is just confirming what I already said in the first row here. Understanding that trying to move away from their feminine is something that's just not possible. And that's why we have the chariot right after. All right, it's something that just leads them into this direction that they don't even know where they're going. It's like trying to have control. The reason why the masculine tries to move away from the divine feminine is because it gives them a sense of control. But what they didn't realize was that, yeah, but it's, like I said, the book does not end. The love is always there. So let's clarify. And clarify the top row, the Empress, the Lisa Cups, and the world in reverse. And by the way, yes, definitely for some of you, this could be what is happening now, okay? It could be that the masculine is making this discernment to try to walk away. And if that is the case, if they're emotionally detaching from you, again, it's because they're trying to find a sense of control, controlling their lives because they feel like the situation with the with the feminine just feels unfamiliar even if you've had years of contact even if you've had many experiences together but the connection with you now in the sense of having left the karmic situation in order to be with you that is unfamiliar to them as things stand right now, okay? So there may have been something different in the past. Maybe, you know, they have made changes. Maybe you have made changes. It just feels unfamiliar to them. But to me, this, um, this mostly feels like it is um, their realization of past judgments. Okay, so clarifying the top row here, we have the Six of Cups as well as judgment. So yeah, Again, confirming what I said, this is a realization. This is a realization of, the, of how deep this connection is. There's a lot of longing, a lot of nostalgia for how things may, may have been at one point, or if you have not really been together in the past as much, this is just the longing, okay, for this connection, for this love that they feel <clears throat> with their Divine Feminine, with you. So like I said, you know, this it's a huge revelation that this, that this love just does not end. It's not something that can just be closed out and forgotten. Six of Cups is also all about memories. It cannot be forgotten. Let's clarify the bottom row. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords and the Hanged Man. Okay, so very similar to this, um, to the Oracle cards that we got in the very beginning, the Four of Swords is like that rest and rejuvenation. So yes, it does feel like the masculines are taking a break right now from everybody, from everything, from the karmic <clears throat> partner, from the karmic situation, as well as from their divine feminine, all right, with the Hanged Man also. 
they're taking this time out to see things from a different perspective because they've had these new realizations that I've been talking about, both concerning the karmic where they keep going back, you know, just when they're about to take action, they find themselves back in the same situation. And then the realization with the feminine is that this cannot be closed out. End of story. Like that is just, I feel like to, in their minds, like that is final. And this is what they are, what they are processing. And so they're taking some time out. Do a lot of reflecting, a lot of reflecting. All right. So let's actually just get a few cards for the for the feminines. All right, we have the magician in the mirror. Okay. Let me just get a few more. For me, this card is all about, it's not only about creating, it does remind me of the magician, okay, from the traditional tarot, but it's more about a reflection, really using these tools um, that you have gained from this connection to really reflect in yourself and really understand what is it that you are supposed to learn from this? What lessons are you gaining? What are you learning about yourself and how can these tools also be used in order for you to create, in order for you to gain control? So sometimes we have to feel like we're losing control of our lives, of, of the situation, of our emotions, of our own selves, in order to find the tools to really have that control because that's when it's going to be real. If nothing happens to us, and so we just have control because, well, well, just because we're lucky, that's not really having gained. Your soul doesn't evolve in that way. So it's through having lost yourself that you are forced to find the tools to help you to really understand what it means to have control over your own self and over your own life. So I feel like for many of you, this is something that, that you are processing at the moment. And this is happening through the connection with the Divine Masculine. Let's see what else. <clears throat> Alright, we have Destruction, Offer and abandoned. Okay, yeah, so it's tough. I feel like it's been tough, all right, for the, for the feminines, um, possibly for the past couple of weeks, maybe, maybe even three weeks. I feel like things have been extra tough for you, really having to face um, this idea that this connection might never come to be. So it's kind of like, even though you might feel like you've been okay with it or you feel like you're moving on and you might <clears throat> really be detaching, I feel like there has been a time period recently where it has just been extra hard. Let me just <laughs> say that. It has been extra hard. You feel like this offer is never going to come through. So even if you had detached, you know, there may have still been that, that hope. And it's like you're being forced to really release that. And I'm not saying to not have, to not have hope, but there's a difference between just hoping that things will work out for the best and then, you know, just really hoping and doing things as a means to an end. So I hope that makes sense. And I'm not saying that in a negative way at all, okay? It's, it's actually very natural, and a lot of this just works subconsciously. I feel like it just kind of, <clears throat> like it can just hit you out of nowhere, where you feel like 
even though you were okay, it just hits you that, hey, you know, oh my God, this offer might never happen. This connection may never come to fruition. And then it's like having to deal with the abandonment wound again, just when you thought it was healed. And I know this has been a recurring theme, I feel, for the feminines. It does show up a lot. Um, and I feel like that's just what, what's, what's happening here. Just as the masculine is repeating a cycle over and over again, each time in a different way, okay? Each time with a level up. Their cycle is, you know, finding themselves in that karmic situation again, just when they thought they had moved on. The feminine is, is kind of mirroring that, right? That's why we have the magician in the mirror as well. You're, it's like you're mirroring the masculine, where just when you think you've detached and that you're okay, this abandonment wound just, you know, kind of shows up again. Each time though, each time you deal with it, you're, you're healing that wound more and more, okay? So don't get discouraged if you also find yourself back to feeling like your life just feels like it's out of control or that something is being destroyed or that whatever, whatever the case might be for you. Don't be discouraged. It's there to help you heal that abandon, abandonment wound. It will get better, I promise. It will, okay? The more we become aware of this wound, the quicker it will heal. And it will always be healing, okay? It's a continuous process. But it will get to the point where it's going to feel a lot more manageable. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave the um, feminine messages at that. Let's just take a quick look at what might be coming up in the next couple of weeks or so. So for the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation. Okay, so we, oh, we have three, okay. We have the Magician, which may or may not have been in reverse. I flipped it over in reverse, I'm keeping it that way. The Ace of Pentacles and Strength, okay. So I'm glad to see Strength upright as well as the Ace of Pentacles because even though the Masculines might not be feeling confident um, coming up, I feel like they're feeling like, you know, again, they're having an issue with control, like how much control do they really have over their lives? They are seeing, I, I feel like there's some optimism here. They're beginning to see things in a more optimistic way. And that is going to be a, a direct result of the fact that they're taking that time out. Able to see that there is this possibility to start on a new path. And because of that, this optimism is bringing them strength, strength and courage. Strength and courage to go after what they want and to leave this magician in reverse energy behind. So I feel like this is actually like a progression, moving from the magician in reverse, moving towards that strength. Finding a lot of courage. I'm also getting here that there's, um, I know this isn't typical for this card, but I'm getting that there's communication here, okay, with strength. And I feel like it's going to be um, communication done with, with compassion, like really coming from the heart when it comes to the karmic situation, okay? So if this is a karmic partner, I feel like this is leading up to a, to some kind of communication that is a conversation that is going to require a lot of strength. So it could be something that they have been avoiding because of the fear, because of feeling weak, because of feeling like a victim to the circumstances and feeling like they have no control. So let's see what is coming up in their energy towards their Divine Feminine. All right, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse and we have Temperance. 
which Temperance, in case you guys want to know, because she was down here, was um, completely sideways as well. Ooh, okay, it looks like there's a lot of frustration here. A lot of frustration when it comes to, to the connection with the Divine Feminine. Again, trying to balance that out, trying to find that balance. Um, the Temperance card can also talk about moderation. And also, like, I, so I feel like they're trying to actually relieve themselves of this frustration in some way. So again, for some of you, there might be some, um, if you are in contact, there might be some conversation here where you can sense the frustration. And I feel like what, what they want to do is to resolve that. For some of you, maybe there have been an ar um, some arguments that have taken place, some misunderstandings. And so I feel like, again, this is something that the masculines want to resolve with you. They don't want things to stay in that energy of, of feeling frustrated or of there being any resentment or anger or just any kind of misunderstanding. All right, if you're not in communication, again, they're just trying to bring into balance these feelings of being frustrated, which again, are a result of everything I discussed before, of what is happening now. I feel like there's going to be a part of them that's just feeling like they're all over the place. I feel like they're just going to feel very scattered. So even though there's going to be this attempt to resolve things, and possibly if there has been an argument, I feel like things will kind of resolve. I feel like there's, for them, there's still going to be this energy of feeling like things are not right still like feeling like things like there's something left hanging um like and it comes with some impatience some impatience to get to this balance so all of this is helping to push them forward so at the same time they're finding strength and courage when it comes to gaining control over the situation with the karmic partner so that they don't keep repeating the same cycle over and over and going back and then with you, they're trying to find this balance to sort out the, these feelings of frustration, which for a lot of them could be projection, all right? It's not that they're frustrated with you. It's that they're frustrated with their own self, knowing that they've been walking away, they've been turning their back to pure unconditional love to their empress and feeling like, yeah, where are the results though? Yeah, maybe we resolved something. Maybe I'm resolving the frustration. Maybe, you know, resolving a misunderstanding. But what is the final outcome? Like, is it what I really want it to be with this person? Like, am I now feeling okay? No. Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. So that is what, um, what is coming up for this group at least. <clears throat> All right, let's just get a, fine, a few oracle cards to close out the reading. For the feminines, I just really feel like this is a strong message for you, okay? It's that abandonment wound that keeps um, coming up because it's not fully healed, all right? And it's supposed to come up in bits and pieces because if it were to just come up all at once, it would, it would probably be too overwhelming for you to handle. And this is why it's showing up in levels or in stages, so again, don't be discouraged. It doesn't mean that you're not healing. Okay, so if this resonated for you guys, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and let's see. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> we just got three. Okay, so we have fork in the road, clean it up, and soulmate. So this is what is happening right now, okay? This crossroads that has been going on for I don't know how long for each of you, this is something that the masculines are now being um, pushed to clean up, to really clean up all the little details, to figure out all the little things within themselves that keep them stuck at this point of indecision of not choosing a path and just staying stuck where they are. Okay, so there's a lot of cleaning up that is happening right now and I feel like this is divinely guided. It's divine intervention, pushing them towards 
moving towards their divine soulmate. Okay, this is, this is a connection that is meant to be. It just needs to be cleaned up first. And that's what is happening. And actually, this cleaning up, it's not just for the masculine, it's also for the feminine, because you are also cleaning up your abandonment wound. And that, these two things together, are moving <clears throat> this connection towards union. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. So I thank you guys so much for watching and much love.